This is going to blow your mind. Imagine a high-speed railway transforming Eritrea, connecting Asmara to Massawa in under an hour. Picture yourself in Asmara, Eritrea's capital, perched high in the cool highlands. You want to reach Massawa, the historic port on the Red Sea, faster than ever before. Today it's a long, winding drive. But what if you could board a sleek, high-speed train and watch the journey blur by? Imagine having breakfast in Asmara, then strolling on Masawa's beaches before noon. A railway line that links the mountains to the sea, opening up new possibilities for everyone. Students could study in Asmara and return home for dinner. Young people could chase opportunities in both cities. Businesses could move goods in record time, fueling growth and innovation. Families would be closer and communities more connected than ever. The high-speed train would become a symbol of progress, unity and national pride. Building it would take vision, skill and belief, but the rewards could reach every corner of Eritrean society. This isn't just about speed. It's about creating a future where opportunity moves as fast as the train itself. The Asmara Masawa High-Speed Railway. A dream of connection, ambition, and a brighter tomorrow for Eritrea. To dream of the future, we must remember the past. Eritrea's historic railway, built over a century ago by Italian engineers, still links Asmara and Masawa. It's a marvel of old world engineering, winding through mountains, crossing 65 bridges, and passing 39 tunnels. The journey is slow, the scenery breathtaking, a living museum on rails. After years of war, Eritreans rebuilt this railway, reviving steam engines and restoring national pride. The old line is a symbol of resilience, but it's not built for today's needs. It takes hours to travel, carries few passengers, and can't support a modern economy. While tourists love its charm, Eritrea needs more than nostalgia. The country requires a fast, efficient link for people and goods. Preserving history is vital, but so is looking forward. The dream of a high-speed line is about meeting the demands of a new era. Eritrea's future depends on more than memories. It needs innovation. The old railway tells a story of endurance. The new one could tell a story of transformation. That's why the vision of a modern train is so compelling. A high-speed railway would revolutionize Eritrea. Imagine traveling from Asmara to Massawa in under an hour. Daily commutes, new job opportunities, and easier family visits. The benefits go beyond passengers. Cargo could move swiftly reducing costs and road congestion. Businesses would thrive with products reaching the port in hours, not days. Imports could flow quickly to the capital, boosting commerce. Tourism would soar. Visitors could explore Asmara's architecture and Masawa's beaches in a single day. Hotels, restaurants, and tour companies would flourish. The railway would create jobs, attract investment, and spark economic growth along its route it would become the backbone of a new economic corridor. More than just transport, it's a statement of ambition and progress. The impact would ripple through every sector, powering Eritrea's future. A modern railway is an investment in prosperity. Building a high-speed railway across Eritrea's rugged terrain is a monumental challenge. The route drops over 2300 meters from Asmara's plateau to Masawa's coast. High-speed trains need gentle curves and slopes, unlike the sharp turns of the old line. Engineers would carve new tunnels through mountains, some of the longest in Africa. Massive bridges and viaducts would span deep valleys, built from reinforced concrete and steel. Every structure must be designed for safety and speed, lasting a century or more. The track would be standard gauge, laid on a solid concrete bed for stability at over 200 kilometers h. State-of-the-art signals and power systems are essential. The scale is daunting, but only modern engineering can make a one-hour journey possible. 
Overcoming these obstacles would set new standards for African infrastructure. The dream demands innovation, precision, and determination. Turning this dream into reality would be Eritrea's biggest project yet. The price tag, billions of dollars, requiring international partners and investors. A solid business plan is essential to attract funding. Detailed planning comes next. Engineers, geologists and environmental experts must map the route and assess every challenge. Construction would take years, involving thousands of workers and advanced technology. Tunnels and bridges in the mountains would test the limits of modern construction. Eritrea would need to buy high-speed trains, build new stations, and create maintenance facilities. Most importantly, the project would train a new generation of Eritrean engineers and operators. The investment in skills and infrastructure would benefit the country for decades. Building the railway is about more than steel and concrete. It's about building capacity for the future. A high-speed railway would supercharge Eritrea's economy. It would create a seamless trade corridor between Asmara and Masawa, slashing transport costs and boosting exports. Local industries would grow and new businesses would cluster along the route. Masawa could become a major economic hub, attracting shipping, logistics and manufacturing. Construction would spark booms in related sectors, cement, steel, transport and real estate. New hotels, shops and restaurants would spring up around stations. The project signals to the world that Eritrea is open for business and ready for investment. The railway would be a symbol of modernity, driving growth and prosperity. Its impact would reach every corner of the nation. The dream is inspiring, but the challenges are immense. The cost is staggering, especially for a mountainous route, billions in funding and years of commitment. Eritrea would need international expertise for design, construction and operation. Training local professionals is crucial for long-term success. Delays from technical, financial or environmental issues are likely. Strong leadership and project management are essential to stay on course. The railway must balance development with respect for communities and the environment. Success depends on vision, patience and the will to overcome setbacks. Could the Asmara Masawa high-speed train run by 2030? Unlikely, but the journey can begin now. The first step is a detailed feasibility study, mapping costs, routes and benefits. This study would attract investors and partners, showing Eritrea's commitment. Securing funding and political support could take years, but it's essential groundwork. By 2030, construction could be underway, tunnels and bridges taking shape. The first train may not run until the late 2030s or 2040s, but progress would be visible. The vision is about starting, not finishing, within a decade. The future is built step by step with careful planning and determination. The Asmara Masawa high-speed railway is more than a train. It's a vision for Eritrea's future. It's a symbol of ambition, unity and national pride. Modern trains racing through mountains would inspire a new generation. The project would connect not just cities, but people and opportunities. Challenges are inevitable, but great achievements demand perseverance. With clear vision and determination, Eritrea can build a legacy for the next century. The dream is bold, but not impossible. It's a story of history, geography and hope all on one track. If realized, this railway could stand among Africa's great engineering feats. More than steel and speed, it would carry the hopes of a nation into a brighter future.